VW Amarok, well apart from a couple of changes, has been on the market for some time now. Well now there's this one which they say is an all new one, but what's mostly all new about it is the engine. It now has the 3 litre TDI V6, making this the most powerful double cab in the country. The double cab pickup market has become increasingly more competitive as the years go on. Take the likes of the new Ford Ranger, that of the new Mitsubishi Triton, the Nissan Navara, the Toyota Hilux. There are so many, the list of luxury double cabs coming to market is endless. Renault will soon give us the Alaskan and Mercedes have recently shown off the X-Class. Now all of them offer some serious cred to market but the big thing is the VW Amarok was sort of lagging for a bit because in this modern space we find a lot of larger engines such as the wild track Ford with its 3.2 litre or that of the 2.8 in the Hilux but VW until now merely offered smaller engines like a 2 litre. Now sure it was excellent, it drove well and it made for a good argument but the thing is a lot of people said 2 litre is the size of a bottle of coke or that of full cream milk. They need something with more power. Well VW answered the question, they gave it a serious walloping of power here and turned it into a bit of whipped cream with this 3 litre TDI V6. Now the engine produces 550 newton meters of torque and the result is the most powerful production bucky on our roads. We're talking 0 to 100 in 8 seconds and using it in any condition, on or off-road, this thing really will deliver. It is solid, planted and ultimately, in keeping with the really fierce competition, ultimately very luxurious. I'm talking when I'm seated up front here, I've got these gorgeous Viana leather seats on the one I'm driving today. It's got dual zone climate controlled air conditioning, all kinds of mod cons and clever systems. It's even got the likes of the VW multimedia system, which is the same as the one you get in something like a new Polo or Golf. It's all proximity sensed, it's got media deliverable through the likes of radio, other media sources such as USB or even that of SD media sources. It's got built in navigation, traffic, I've got even Apple CarPlay and it's all controlled through the steering wheel mounted controls. Up front of me I've got a clear instrumentation binnacle and all the power is mated to an 8 speed automated gearbox. All of this means that driving an Amarok is incredibly luxurious, it feels more luxury SUV than workhorse. But believe me it's still got serious capability both on and off road. I've always been a huge fan of the double cab market. These luxury vehicles manage to offer the very best of a serious workhorse coupled with that of the characteristics of a luxury SUV. And on this latest generation Amarok, I must say it really does impress no end. From me Jason of Technobock, until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Cheers for now. Technobock.